I'm often asked my opinion as to where I see the price of Bitcoin going. And every year, of course, people want to know where do you think Bitcoin's price will be by the end of the year? In this case, the end of 2017. It's a difficult one to pitch. At the beginning of this year, I was uh, pretty confident that Bitcoin would be somewhere between two and three thousand dollars by December this year. Uh, based on historical performance and based on some of my other predictions and just based on following uh, long trends on the chart. For example, looking here, um, we're looking at the one year price chart. And if you go back, when I'm recording this, this is in June, because I would go back a year, the price was around 585. A, a year later, of course, um, as of recording this, the price is around 2700. Um, a considerable increase when you think about that, you know, you're talking about five times almost, five times in the period of one year. Now, if you look at the all time chart, uh, you get a different picture again, because what you see here, of course, you see a very, very slow start to Bitcoin when, you know, it was priced around six dollars um, for much of this time. And then we got into 2013 when we had our first really big bubble, uh, went down from 13 or so up to about 198 and then crashed down again. But that wasn't the end of it. We then had another bubble from around the hundred dollar mark. Um, all the way up, of course, to over eleven hundred dollars, uh, when a number of events caused a crash and a, a recognised bubble, and then we spent the whole of that next year going down, um, and then stabilising for the for all of twenty fifteen really, and then really starting to rise again near the end of twenty fifteen, and that's what we've seen ever since. So if you're looking at this, you'll notice that the the chart pattern is starting to look a little bit like a repeat. In other words, an argument could be made that we are now in the beginning of another bubble. Um, this line here, this price action here is unsustainable, really, if you look at that, because of the vertical nature of it, very similar to this one here. The thing is, how far would this line go before this bubble were to, to crash down? If we look at the scale of this, we realize we're talking like a 10 times increase from the bottom or the beginning of this bubble a 10 times increase before it crashed. Whereas this time, if you're looking at the the low point here, uh, we have a, or, or even higher here, how far do we need to go? You know, currently over two and a half thousand. Um, I would say that uh, based on this, these figures and based on this chart, I would say the end of the year, I would be saying we'd be looking at possibly $5,000. That would be my pick. Now, of course, that $5,000 might be reached in a number of ways. It could be reached by a massive uh, bubble up to 10,000 and then a, a crash down to 5,000. But if I, think, if I think in terms of more of the general, the general trends, for example, looking at prices uh, or bringing it down to a year, for example, again, Looking at this price angle here, I would say that um, 5000 by the end of the year is realistic. In other words, I have to up my original uh, estimation of this and say that instead of being two to 3000 I would say now four to 5000 would be quite possible. However, I don't discount the possibility that we are in the beginning of a bubble also. Um, looking at the similarity here, it's, it's very obvious. The only question, of course, is how far does this go up before crashing and where does it crash to? Like all predictions, this is entirely speculative. It's just my own opinion. Um, I have been involved in the Bitcoin space since 2011. I've watched this over go up and I've watched it go down. I've held onto my coins throughout all of the ups and downs. Um, I'm highly confident in Bitcoin's technology and Bitcoin's future. And of course, another way of reading this, just before I finish off, another way of reading this is that at some point or other, we are going to enter mass adoption. We don't know when that is. We could be still in the very early phases of early adoption. But when mass adoption comes, it is going to be really quick. And it is going to look like a bubble, but that bubble might go for some considerable time. So it's really an open-ended question. 
my own pitch once again, just leaving you with this, I do think that we could see 5,000 by the end of the year uh, with various ups and downs along the way, of course. Uh, and I won't be surprised if that's exactly what happens. Um, if you're interested in uh, learning more about Bitcoin or if you're new to this and you want some assistance or advice in getting involved in Bitcoin, see the link below this video. I have a service called the Crypto Wealth Blueprint, an educational service, and uh, you're more, more than welcome to have a look at it and see whether it fits the bill for what you might be looking for. Thanks for watching.